Francine's Bad Hair Day is the second segment of the very first episode of the first season of Arthur. I grew up worshipping Arthur, watched it every day on CBBC. And having recently watched the very last episode, the very last episode ever of Arthur, which is insane to think about. Um, really beautiful episode, worth watching if you haven't seen it. But because I watched that, I suddenly started to crave Arthur and I really wanted that nostalgia. So I decided to go and check out the first episode. And the first segment is Arthur's Eyes, which is such a strong episode and really wonderfully done. And Francine's Bad Hair Day, the second segment, is almost as good. Um, I feel like it's got some good messages in it. There is a continuity issue, which I will discuss. Um, it's not a big deal and it's, you know, I'm, I'm nitpicking. For me as an adult, analysing these things, of course I'm going to nitpick at these things. But for the target audience, for me at the time completely irrelevant and I'm aware of that um but it's a really lovely episode directed by Greg Bailey this segment's written by Kathy Waugh based on of course the books by Mark Brown and it's school picture day and Muffy is very much looking forward to this she's looking forward to getting a new dress as is Prunella and their friend Francine doesn't really care and Muffy just doesn't understand why Francine isn't bothered about how she is going to look in her school picture. So she does everything she can to try and get Francine to basically become a version of Muffy. She does her hair, she finds a dress for her, she tries her best to turn her into herself. But will Francine ever actually stay neat and tidy for picture day? Because she just wants to play kickball. And kickball and school pictures don't necessarily go hand in hand. I won't say exactly what happens, but I think there is a lovely message here about staying true to who you are. Not being too vain. It is important, obviously, to look after your appearance and try and stay neat and tidy to a degree. But when that gets in your way of your happiness and you have to try and be somebody you're not, it's not worth it. And also, being somebody else in a school picture is not representative of who you are. Yes, at the time you might want to look your best, but one of the things about school pictures is that it's supposed to capture you in your childhood. And if you don't look like who you are, then on reflection years later, you're not really going to recognise yourself and it's not going to represent your youth accurately. And I don't think anybody should dress up too much for school pictures. Although I know some school pictures kind of demand that you look very as smart as possible. I don't know why. <laughs> because I, I never looked that great in school pictures. There's one where I have a giant cat scratch across my cheek. I think I was about six, six years old and my cat had scratched me. Uh, I think it was a cat or was it a twig? It might have been a, a bramble. We had a bramble bush at the end of our street. It's irrelevant. I can't remember. The point is no, nobody looks perfect in school pictures. School pictures are pretty horrific most of the time anyway. And I think Francine displayed a really great attitude here that was very admirable. Muffy definitely was acting like an antagonist here, thinking that everybody had to be like her and everybody had to be perfect. And Francine was, you know, this was a proper introduction to Francine. She did feature very briefly in Arthur's eyes and she wasn't really likeable in that episode. But in Francine's Bad Hair Day, it really turned the character around and showed that she actually was a very likeable person with a very positive outlook. And I really enjoyed the character. The continuity, this isn't really a spoiler, the continuity is that Muffy and Prunella were both excited about how they were getting a new dress for picture day. And then when picture day came around, they were both in their regular clothes that we always see them in. And I don't know why that was. It kind of, it's as I said, it's such a minor thing that's completely irrelevant to the benefits of the episode. But obviously, as an adult, I'm focusing on the intricacies of this. And as a writer, um, I, write, I write novels, not screenplays. But as a writer, I'm looking at continuity because it's just part of who I am. And it just really irritated me that they paid so much focus to the fact that they were getting new dresses and getting all dressed up and really, you know, getting excited for picture day. And then when it came around, they didn't have new dresses and it just really bugged me. But I know that in the grand scheme of things, it really isn't important. It's a really strong second segment in the first episode. I thought showing the bad school pictures um, 
when we see them kind of not coming out perfectly was a great way to kind of make children feel like this happens to everybody because we all dreaded getting our school pictures back absolutely hated it most people did anyway and if they come back terrible well a lot of people do it's not uncommon you're not alone really thoroughly enjoyed the second segment the nostalgia was very much real with this even though i couldn't remember exactly the episode if you grew up with the show this is a really good episode to go back and watch. Uh, it's it's brilliant. Strong message. Really decent. Slight continuity issue, but aside from that, Francine's Bad Hair Day is pretty great. <laughs> 